This is an Icon Ministry production with the support of our ministry partners and donors. Happy Good Shepherd Sunday. A beautiful Sunday for us to pray for our priests, nuns, those who lead us towards heaven. During this Mass, if you would join me, I'd love you to pray for your priests, for your parish priests, for those bishops in your area, those nuns, and even parents and those who shepherd. Also today, I'd like you to pray for our ministry, if you would. We're growing and we're reaching further, and we're only doing this by the grace of God. Over the last few months, we've had opportunities we could have only dreamed of a few years ago, reaching to millions of people literally every week now through Roblox. If you would like to know more about the latest projects that we're doing, go to metasaint.com or go to iconministry.com. Let us pray together this Good Shepherd Sunday, this fourth Sunday of Easter, and ask for God's grace, His presence, and His love with us. From the cloud you speak What was fair the image of the invisible God, divinity confirmed in the transfigured world, a kingdom once conceived. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. I welcome you to this celebration of the Eucharist today, Good Shepherd Sunday, also the fourth Sunday of Easter. A reminder that part of the resurrection is to serve others, to love others, to shepherd others, to lead others to Him. But Christ is our Good Shepherd. And during this Mass, I invite you to please pray for priests, to pray for bishops, pray for those in any kind of church pastoral role, that we may live a life of holiness. As we begin this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. 
Lord, you call us to be holy and to be good shepherds. Lord, have mercy. For those times we didn't trust that you could lead us to new and green pastures. Christ, have mercy. And for those times we didn't allow ourselves to trust in your mercy, your goodness, and your call over our lives. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Peter said, Rulers of the people and elders, if you are questioning us today about an act of kindness to a cripple and asking us how he was healed, then I am glad to tell you all and would indeed be glad to tell the whole people of Israel that it was by the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, the one you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. By this name and by no other than this man, is able to stand up perfectly healthy here in your presence today. This is the stone rejected by you, the builders, but which has proved to be the keystone. For of all the names in the world given to men, this is the only one by which we can be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by, by the, builders the builders has, has become, become the cornerstone. cornerstone. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. The stone which the builder rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. The, the stone, stone rejected, rejected by, by the, the builders, builders has become, become the, cornerstone. the cornerstone. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his love has no end. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by, by the builders, builders has, has become, become the, cornerstone. the cornerstone. A reading from the first letter of John. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children. And that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, 
because we shall see him as he really is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to his fold. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock and one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. There are good shepherds, there are bad shepherds. Here's what a good shepherd does. A good shepherd adds value. A good shepherd helps you realize your potential. A good shepherd shows you that you are made for great things, you are made for greater things, that you were called to share in the resurrection to get to heaven. A good shepherd is someone who is ready to die to let you know your dignity and your value. Think about it, think about the exchange that is made between a shepherd and a sheep. You were to see a human being and you were to see a sheep. Realistically, God created the human being in his image after his own likeness, right? Now, the sheep, on the other hand, is not in the image of God. It's loved by God. It is cared for by God. But its value in the eyes of God, in the image and in the dignity of God, is of lesser value. Now, you might think, no, all creation is equal. No, according to the scripture, humanity is the most prized possession, most valued possession. You are God's most valued possession. But let's go back to the exchange, the business exchange that happens between the shepherd and the sheep. There are sheep there, and the shepherd decides when, it is, when the sheep are being attacked, when their values being undermined, when they're being told they're not good enough, when they're being torn to pieces, being led astray, when they're being killed spiritually and sometimes even physically, they're there to lay down their life for the sheep. But where's the exchange in that? Where's the, the value in that? The, the price that the shepherd pays is much higher than it is worth. Well, this is what God does for us. He overpaid on the cross for us. He overpaid so much so that that increased our value. I don't know if any of you own property, but if you own property, you will understand maybe what I mean. Every six months in Australia, we pay land tax. We pay rates. Now, what happens is that we get a statement. People get a statement. Our parish gets a statement in the mail telling us how much rates we have to pay. Now, the rates are according to the value of the property that you own. So it will tell you, the government will tell you how much it thinks your value is. The value of your property is every six months it will give you a value. And how does it measure that value? Well, simply by measuring how much was paid for the properties in your area. So if a house goes for sale, and it is sold for $600,000 and your property is pretty much the same size, then you might be valued at $600,000, your property valued that much. Now, what if someone comes into your neighborhood and pays $10 million for a house that is worth $600,000? What would happen? 
First of all, all the neighbors will complain because all of a sudden their rates are going to go up. But that's the way the government calculates it. So all of the value of all of the properties on that street will suddenly surge. And as a result, of course, you have to pay more tax, you have to pay higher rates. But how awesome is that? The value of your property now has increased. This is what God has done for us. He overpaid for you. So now your value is so much more, so much more than it was before Jesus laid down his life for you. You now have an eternal value. The property, the area has gone up in value because you've moved from the ordinary to the extraordinary. You've moved from the place which was not the kingdom of God to a place of eternity. God gives us value. The good shepherd, he leads us to heaven. He shows us our value by showing us that we were not made for this world, but we were made for an eternity. God created us with value. He's given us value. He's raised us into his image after his own likeness. Know your value. Know who you are. And as a result, be that good shepherd to others, showing them their value, showing them what they are worth, that they are in the image and after the likeness of God. Jesus, thank you. Jesus, good shepherd, thank you for giving me value. Let us now proclaim our faith in Christ, the Good Shepherd. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. So now we pray. Lord, show us our value. Show us what we're worth in you. Lord, hear us. In the silence of your own hearts, now bring your prayers to the Lord, especially for the shepherds in your life, priests, bishops, family members, parents, and those who shepherd you towards heaven. Almighty God, we thank you for your mercy and love. We thank you that you hear our prayers. And we bring all of our prayers now to the intercession of Mary, our mama, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed 
Master, you Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. So pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in the Paschal Mysteries, so that renewed constantly at work within us may be the cause of unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life and the holds of heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is ransom for our death and his rising to life of all who have risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Shane, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, would bless Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
allow me please to pray for you just especially for those who feel that they don't have value maybe you've been abused in your life maybe you've been told that you're not good enough but God says God the good shepherd Jesus the good shepherd tells you that you are beautiful you're wonderfully made and that you have value and so Lord I just pray for your children here those especially that are struggling to understand their value their beauty Lord the good shepherd speak into their hearts Tell them, show them how much you love them. Embrace them and give them the strength they need to understand their dignity, their beauty, and their value. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I, al I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. On behalf of Icon Ministry, thank you for joining us for this time of prayer. I hope you've had the opportunity to check out our podcast. Go to catholicinfluencerspodcast.com and over there you can listen to our podcast which we release every week also if you have children or grandchildren on roblox tell them to check out meta saint if you'd like more information about this and would like to support meta saint and allow us to reach more young people with the gospel message please go to metasaint.com if you're able to support our ministry overall and to help us with more projects and more outreach please go to uh, iconministry.com forward slash support. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
wants to reach out to the Alpha generation. Introducing MetaSaint, a revolutionary project where the hope and love of Christ meet the Metaverse generation. Did you know that the Roblox platform transcends mere gaming? It's a bustling digital universe with over 70 million users a day. This is an incredible opportunity to share the gospel with young people. Do your children or grandchildren play Roblox? Tell them to start playing MetaSaint, where they will have an interactive experience of the gospel like never before. As we pioneer this exciting new frontier of connection and community, we invite you to help us in this groundbreaking mission, our biggest project yet, to ensure the digital spaces can become a place where all can encounter the transformative power of Christ. Together, let's bring the gospel to the metaverse. Visit metasaint.com to learn more. This production is only made possible because of the generous support of Icon Ministry partners and donors. Please go to iconministry.com forward slash